what? That's gonna be good enough. Remind myself. Okay. What's up guys? How you doing? I hope you're doing okay. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and you're about to hear 10 things that I like to do on my self-care days. Let's go. So as you probably know, I'm big on self-care days because your girl has um, self that needs to be cared for. Got some issues and that's okay. <laughs> Whenever I'm having a really hard time where I feel like I really hit my limit or I just feel like, you know, it needs to happen. I like to have a whole self-care day where I do a couple of things that make me feel really good, that refill me up. Before I really started to get into therapy and things like that. I didn't really know about self-care days and I didn't really know about self-care and it took me a while to kind of figure out what that looked like for me and I'm still, I mean, it's still evolving and changing as I grow up. These are just my top 10 things that I usually do on my self-care days that I thought you guys might want to give a shot. So, number one, I like to get the perfect meal and what do I mean by that? I don't like to completely just eat junk food on my self-care days. I do think it's important to kind of treat yourself and kind of not worry about the stress of whatever diet you've been doing or insecurities or anything like that and kind of take the limits off of everything. But I also know that eating junk throughout the day is gonna make me feel sick, it's gonna make me feel bad. Even though that feels like treating yourself in the end, it still has negative, you know, repercussions. So I like to do one perfect meal. It's usually dinner and I will go out and I will get whatever I'm craving that day. Price doesn't matter, volume doesn't matter. Do whatever it takes. Like if I have to go to one place to get one thing and one place to get another and then one place to get like dessert, do it. I usually bring it home, lock myself in my room and turn on like a movie or the TV show I've been watching and I just kind of lay out this platter and just, mm. If I don't do that on a self-care day, it's very, very rare. That's usually how I end it, and then I go to sleep after. Sometimes what I do is buy myself at least one thing. Um, again, I try not to spend just a whole bunch of money because it will make me feel bad. It will make me feel stressed, and again, negative repercussions to something that should be good for you. I like to take off the pressure of trying to save every last dime. Something that's just for me, something that makes me happy. Whatever it is, whatever you come across, and it can be as much or as little as you want. And I don't do this every time, but a lot of times I'll like go to Target, check out the dollar section or whatever, and I'll just get myself a little something. I like to have spa time, and what do I mean by that? I usually, I will lock myself in the bathroom for like an hour. <laughs> I'll light a candle, put on some music, dim the lights, whatever. I'll shave my legs, I'll tweeze my eyebrows, I'll paint my nails, paint my toenails, do all of the things that take a long time and that you don't do every day that aren't a normal part of my routine. On my self-care days, I try to make everything an experience. I don't wanna just do something, I want to have this whole aesthetic, this whole vibe. Now this is something that um, I can't do every time I do a self-care day because your girl's poor, but I oftentimes like to go get a massage. I have an incredibly tight back always because I'm a photographer, because I'm editing and I'm kind of hunched over a lot. I always have knots. I'm always tight in my shoulders and my shoulder blades and my upper back. I know a lot of people don't like that. They don't like, you know, strangers touching them and that's fine. If that's not for you, you can do something else. If it's like going to get a manicure or whatever. It's just for me, that is super relaxing, super like de-stressing. One of the more extravagant things that I like to do on self-care days, that's like a we in trouble, red flag get out the box, open up the case, this is an emergency, press the red button. Now this one um, might be a little weird. I actually like to go to the movie theaters alone. I try to go, it, it's not that hard now because of Corona, but I try to go at times when I know there won't be a lot of people there or I go to a movie theater that's not very popular. You know this is bad, I'll smuggle in my snacks, sometimes I'll smuggle in Starbucks. I will bring in like a blanket and I will just completely relax, check out, I'll turn my phone off completely be away from the world. One, it is very liberating. It feels almost scandalous, like you shouldn't be able to do that. And two, going to the movies in general for like two hours or however long, you kind of check out from everything. And if you're one of those people and you don't really like being alone and you feel like you need people, grab a friend, grab your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whatever you feel like you need, I highly recommend it. Else I like to do that's a little bit out of the way, but it's still worth it, is to drive to a lake or like a really pretty park and either take a walk or just kind of sit. For me, being out in nature is super important and um, really helps recharge me. I like to go to a lake that's about 25 minutes away from my house and I like to go and just sit. Sometimes I'll bring like breakfast and have like a little picnic. I'll journal, sometimes I'll draw, sometimes I'll put in music and just check out. And even going and just sitting for 15 minutes or something like that, makes a huge difference and completely like resets my day. Another thing I like to do is yoga slash meditation. Whenever I first started getting into this kind of stuff and I realized that I needed to take some extra steps to take care of me, I started to kind of get into this mindfulness, 
meditation thing and at first I felt really ridiculous if you can get into it and once you kind of hit that place where you kind of just zone out oh my gosh it's something that helps me sleep it's something that helps me throughout the day it's super helpful with my anxiety I was super scared of it at first because um, because of my anxiety I don't like for things to be quiet I'm almost always playing music or have like a video on my phone if I'm like getting ready or something. I don't like for there just to be nothing going on because my brain is so chaotic. Meditation was very daunting for me because you literally just sit there within your own thoughts and that's literally the worst thing. If you can push past that and just kind of sit in it and give it a try, I promise, makes a huge difference. Same thing with yoga, because yoga I feel is like an active meditation, unless you do like the workout yoga that's like abs and stuff which is great within its own but don't do that do like a stretch relax yoga so yoga meditation is something that I was very hesitant about very skeptical about but have come to love so give it a shot if you haven't already super long showers oh my gosh so the bathroom is like my happy place I don't know why whenever I was having like really bad anxiety attacks I would actually go into the shower put it on really hot water and like sit with all of my clothes on I know super like melancholy for me that it was like like I knew nobody was gonna come in I knew I could kind of just check out I turn all the lights off the, the warm water in itself calms you down and then the sound of the running water I was able to kind of block out everything that was happening and I would just kind of sit until it was over so because of that I feel like taking showers relaxation trigger for me because of that I will usually take like 30 minutes to an hour long shower sorry parents for the water bill Put on music I'll light a candle and I'll just take the longest shower let the warm water completely relax my muscles get a special coffee now for me coffee is an interesting thing because it does trigger some anxiety for me and for pretty much everybody because it's caffeine I love it just the taste of it even if it's decaf for some reason it's just like the ultimate comfort food for me personally I usually get like that one special coffee at that one coffee shop that is expensive and a lot of calories and you know you shouldn't have like that's the coffee we want. I usually get it first thing in the morning and sip on it throughout the day. So it's like a lingering wonderfulness of heaven. And for you, whatever that comfort food is, if it's ice cream, if it's pickles, like it can be anything. I highly recommend getting that. You can either incorporate it in your big meal or you can get it in the morning if it's like a breakfast thing or whatever. Getting that one special thing that you can't have all the time, but that really makes you feel better. And last but certainly not least is spending time with God. For me personally, Spending time with God, my relationship with God is everything. And taking a second to just breathe and just say hi to Jesus completely changes everything. And I really have a hard time with putting pressure on my time with God and, and kind of just putting it in my list of things to check off. And I'm trying to learn and I'm having Jesus help me to learn to really just sit in his presence and to not have to have an agenda, to not have to do anything. Literally, if I don't even talk, just saying that, like, God, I'm here, I want you to come sit with me, that is plenty. So spending time with God is the ultimate self-care for me. Those are just like my top 10 things that I usually do on my self-care days. There are more and they do change, but that's the basic thing. So if you wanna get into this self-care journey, I really suggest you trying some of these things or tweaking them into your own personal life. Really hope this video was helpful. If you wanna see more stuff like this, please leave a comment and let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more stuff, hit that subscribe button. I love you guys, bye.